afternoon, we begin with tragic news. A 15-year-old girl killed in an early morning fire. 15-year-old Hazel Morris died in a fire that started about 6 o'clock this morning at a home on Bigelow Street, just off State Route 247 in Hillsboro. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe joins us now to tell us what he's been able to find out so far. Good afternoon, Rich. Good afternoon, John. It's a tough scene out here in Hillsborough. We are on Bigelow Street. The actual fire scene is just a short distance behind me. There's a small house on the left-hand side there. I talked with Kevin Morris, the father. He told me that early this morning he left for work. He says about 20 minutes later he got a call that his house was on fire. What he didn't know at that moment was his daughter Hazel was still inside. Now, according to the Hillsborough Fire Investigator, the 911 calls came in just after 5.30. Two Hillsboro firefighters, one Lynchburg firefighter, and one from Paint Creek were all on the scene within about four minutes. They were confronted by heavy fire in the tiny house. The firefighters tried to make an entry from the front of the house, but they were forced back until other crews arrived. When firefighters were able to force their way in from the rear of the house, they found 15-year-old Hazel Morris's body in what's believed to be a rear bedroom. Now, her dad, Kevin, tells me that his 13-year-old son was awakened by the blaze, which he says had started in a box fan. The little boy awakened his sister, ran next door to call 911, and when he came back, the house was fully involved. Now, fire crews, as you can see, are still on the scene. In fact, it has now been taken over by the state fire marshal, and they are investigating to establish the cause of the fire and determine exactly what happened, how, and where it all started. We are hoping to get some word from them in the very near future. But at this point, this entire community is pretty much in shock with a dead 15-year-old inside that house. John? All right. Thank you, Rich.